Hi Virgo, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of March 1st to the 7th, uh, 2021. And I do want to remind you, of course, to like this video, leave me a comment and subscribe to this lovely channel if you haven't already. And when subscribing, don't forget that little notification bell, okay? And um, when meditating on your beautiful energy overall for the week, the message that came through was, please let me be. Please let me be. Um, and the song that Spirit chose to speak upon your week, which will be at the bottom of the description box, if you'd like to listen, uh, it's Let's Be Still by The Head and The Heart. I absolutely love this song and it's perfect for your energy. Um, the lines that stood out were, the days turn into months, the months turn into years. So just for a moment, let's be still. Just for a moment, let's be still. And it just feels like time is moving way too quickly. It feels like things are getting out of hand or you just simply are uh, overwhelmed, frustrated, uh, uh, feeling carried through from the last week of February. And Spirit's reminding you that it's truly weak when you're feeling the need to push people um, back in order to stay within your own beautiful uh, Hermit energy. It, it's okay to be still, you know, it's recommended. It's going to be beneficial. All right. Even downtime is not wasted. Let's get this started by pulling a couple messages from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck. And keep in mind, general weekly read for the sign of Virgo. Take what resonates, leave a dozen, and check out your other chart placements for more messages. Alrighty? For our lovely Virgos to begin. That was easy. Okay. So we're starting off with grounding. Go deep. Explore your roots. There's a feeling that, you know, everything around you, even little things, once again, I believe I mentioned that in the last uh, weekly for you, is just irritating you. People are irritating you. Um, you're just not thrilled with the way things are unraveling or certain, uh, I want to say, truths that are coming to light. Because we move on. Uh, before we do, there's just a need for you to meditate, all right? Clear your mind, your very analytical mind. Clear it out. Um, simplify things for yourself. And just so you can feel a bit more grounded um, when you lack that sense of grounded energy because you're an earth sign, you feel out of whack, right? So just do what you can, what you know best works for you to ground yourself. And moving right along, we have discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Don't be surprised um, if I could even say it. Don't be surprised, Virgo, if you uh, some truths surface this week or resurface. You discover something about somebody that you don't love. Transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. There's this feeling that you've been living too hectic of a life, right? Things have been too chaotic for you. And I mean, yes, there's a big part of it uh, that can be blamed or, um, yeah, that can be blamed on your environment or the people that surround you and whatnot, which, you know, can be changed. But a lot of it has to do with your mindset, which I feel you've been working on. If not, you should be. All right, allowing for yourself to enter this new way of living as you step into a new fresh chapter, a more peaceful way of living. All right, and once again, you can't just sort of look, uh, expect this amount of uh, peace to be instilled within you moving forward in this next chapter if you don't sort of allow certain changes to happen outside of you, but also within you. Okay, it's like you're the phoenix rising from the ashes. That felt so dramatic, but I love it. We're moving on to pull seven tarot cards. One for each day of the upcoming week. For our lovely Virgos, thank you, Spirit. Ooh, that one did a flip. Keep them coming for Virgo. Bear with me. We only have one left to pull. Bear with me. We're actually going to um, sh keep shuffling and pull the last three. I had to put two back. What else do we have for our lovely Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. And we're pulling the last one right from the top. 
Interesting. We are beginning the week and the spread with the Judgment card, Nature Arcana. So you begin the week on Monday and there's this, you're feeling very spiritually connected for a lot of you. Uh, there's a feeling that you are feeling a bit out of whack to start the week. You need to, uh, with this Judgment card it's coming through, is you needing to sort of release any worries, stresses, irritations, frustrations at this time. Uh, I feel like it's just building up. I uh, need to release any uh, extra tension that you're holding. We tend to forget that we hold tension in certain parts of our body, like with our tongue to the roof of our mouth or, you know, our shoulders clenched up. Just try to be aware of these things this week and you need to release certain emotions and ways of viewing your situation and um, all of the above. And definitely releasing that tension from within your body. And I do feel like while you're releasing all of which, it could it would be very beneficial for you to start the week with meditation all right with something that helps you feel more spiritually connected more grounded and will help you in the process of releasing all of those um negative things we were just speaking upon powerful start to the week and we're moving on to the eight of swords And you do feel, you know, you were able to release uh, a lot of what we were just speaking upon on Monday, but then you enter sort of reflective stage uh, mindset on Tuesday, where you are reflecting on what's making you feel trapped or limited at this time, or who. On Tuesday, you will um, most likely discover a unfortunate truth about somebody that is in your life, or maybe somebody in the past. I'm seeing the Queen of Swords in my mind's eye. It's almost like spirit is um, removing that blindfold from, you know, allowing you to see the situation for what it really is. Making our way to Wednesday, we have the Ace of Wands. So you make your way to Wednesday and you're being reminded by spirit in the universe that you have this fresh start on the horizon for you. But you do need to make certain adjustments once again to your mindset, to the way you view your situation um, and be the Queen of Swords if need be. Uh, when it comes to this person or the situation that needs to go. Reminding you that um, certain things that are keeping you restricted and limited are not, they're going to keep you from this fresh start uh, that spirit in the universe is trying to grant you at this time. So it's a week of sort of clearing out and adjusting in order to prepare for such a fresh start, a new beginning, if you will, and um, a more passionate one, to say the least. King of Wands. So you make your way to Thursday and you are feeling more confident, all right? Feeling like you're starting to get your, um, the pep in your step back. I feel I need to clarify this. What do we have for this King of Wands? Thank you, Spirit. We have the Knight of Cups. One more. What else do we have for this King of Wands for Virgo? <laughs> and they gave me the King of Wands again. Uh, you're coming, you're getting a reminder from Spirit in the Universe this day, uh, on Thursday, that you are a true leader at heart, that you can live a life of passion, of success, without certain people or situations surrounding you that are going to bring you down or once again make you feel um, limited or trapped. Okay. Reminding you once again, I feel like I've mentioned this in past Virgo readings, but you're going to be, it's going to be abundantly clear at this point in the week that you're a leader in the making, that you can be a leader in your own calm and content way where you sort of instill that feeling within, within other people, right? You sort of, I feel like have dealt with certain leaders or uh, in your lifetime that were too abrupt, too forceful, and it sort of taught you that your way of being the way of leading your in unique way is effective, okay? That certain people aren't able to adjust to that abrupt kind of leader. And your calm, sort of collected, grounded way is uh, best for certain individuals, right? But again, how do you expect to do so if you don't ground yourself? So it feels like the week builds up to this uh, realization, this becoming abundantly clear. It's part of why you're being granted this fresh start, part of why, once again, these changes are taking place. Moving right along, we have the death card for Friday. 
So you make your way to Friday and it feels like whatever situation that was that you discovered the truth in, uh, where spirit just wanted you to kind of see it for what it truly was once again, it comes to an end. And my leg just started moving back and forth. I feel like it's going to give you a little bit of anxiety. And it's side by side with discovering truth. And unfortunately, you discovering this truth puts you in a spot where you just need to be the queen of swords. You need to say, I've had enough. Out of respect for myself, my future, and all that I have to achieve. Out of respect for being the leader that uh, I'm meant to be in this lifetime, in one way, shape, or form. Saying, this brings extra chaos to my life, as you can hear that in the background, and I don't need it anymore moving forward. Being aligned with the Judgment card, it's all about you sort of releasing that situation and, you know, even releasing sort of emotions or ties to it uh, and saying once and for all, I'm going to feel lighter and free moving forward, less tied down or restricted by whoever or whatever this is. feels like it's a person. Moving on, we have the World card. And so you make your way to start the weekend on Saturday and Spirit and Universe is going to communicate with you in their own special unique ways that your world is changing, that things are coming to a completion, I mean, naturally. The fact that we have two major arcana's death in the world, um, reminding you that this completion, this, what feels like a, a rough cycle being wrapped up throughout this week is all beneficial. Reminding you that even if you do feel a bit emotional or a little bit ungrounded or shaky because of this change or adjustment, it, you just can't remember it's worth it, all right? It'll lead to happiness, to more contentment. Again, a life full of passion and leadership and success and abundance, okay? And it's aligned with the Eight of Swords and they're saying, again, the completion, my friend, of what was no longer working, what was keeping you uh, trapped and restricted. And also it's the completion of certain thoughts that were keeping you restricted and tied down or limiting you, all right? Knight of Pentacles to finish off the weekend spread. And so you finish off on Sunday feeling like you're moving towards your financial comfort or the rebuilding of your life or that one area, um, slowly but surely. You're being reminded to have patience, my friend. Allow for yourself to be an example to others that you can go through all that you've been through. You can be as irritated and disgusted with life as you have been the last couple weeks and still be one with certain changes that pop up and make the best out of them and turn things around and um, be an example in that way, all right? Not only that, but you, uh, yeah, just keeping in mind once again that you are a leader, my friend. And by doing so, by being a leader, a uh, part of which is being a positive, refreshing example, all right? Let's finish this off by pulling a Find Your Happy card or two for our lovely Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, spirits. Let's see what we have. I am only trapped by my illusions. Ooh. Reminding you that a big focus this week is also on your mental state, my friend, your habits. We won't dwell on that. And then um, I let go of what I can't, uh, what I can't change. I let go of what I can't change. It just feels like it's a week where you're letting go of, uh, once again, your mindset, certain emotions, but more importantly, it feels like an individual or a situation that needs to go to leave you feeling more uh, lighter, a lot lighter, fresher, um, more grounded to, to become the leader that you're meant to be in this lifetime. Alrighty. So Virgo, I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.